Good afternoon, people, world everywhere. So, today, decided to pull the drive shaft out of Project Crack Pipe and replace a U joint because I had some money in the uh, YouTube or uh, <laughs> not the YouTube, uh, where that stupid place called AutoZone. And, uh, Oh jeez. Decided to go to good old AutoZone and pick up a U joint and then bring it home and of course you'll never guess what. Well you probably will if you watch any of my videos. It ain't don't fit. <clears throat> I don't know where the other caps went. So, as you can see, I have a inner C-clip. And then this one has that little... It's like a fiberglass resin or something in it. That you cook out. You basically heat it up and cook it out. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I decided to... Pull this out and see what I can do. And of course, it doesn't work with what AutoZone sold me. So I just gotta take some measurements. I don't know. I don't know what happened because I've been all over AutoZone's website, and this this is what the part number is calling for. Um, for a five-speed. 1991 K1500 Let's see If it does anything usually sometimes it'll show what the car is Uh, Okay it Says 2015 2015 Audi truck Q7 you join as far as I know, my Audi doesn't have a U-joints. Um, but if it does, it's the same part number. Anyway, uh, this one's got these external clips that clip on right here. My car, my truck does not have that. And they're too big. The diameter of these cups are too big. So let me zero this off. Oh. Okay, well. Alright, now let's zero it off. So as you can see, this should be like 1.187 1 or something. one point one eight seven five and these are a lot smaller as you can see one point two five to be pretty much exact one point two five five um anyway well, it looks like they sold me the wrong U-joint, or not sold me the wrong U-joint. They just have it in their category as wrong. 1.13 right here. This is the part I need. O'Reilly's has it. Um, but AutoZone doesn't have it. All AutoZone show the 1.875. I know you probably just can't see, but whatever. Um, anyway... So let me check a, another measurement real quick. So that says it should be 2.56 inches. Mm. That is not the right one. Let's see here. Let's go to my pictures. Take a screenshot of... Overall length, outside, 
3.629 ish. Uh, so anyway, I don't I don't really know. This is saying 2.56, which is way too small. Hmm, kind of stuck. It says length A and length B, so this is two different lengths. 2.62 and 2.56, which neither one of them should be. They should be both the same. The 2.62, hmm. Yep, this is where I stand on auto parts stores. That's the same. 354C. Too small. 354. 354. 2.56. Nope. C. 2.78. Nope. 3.62. 1.18. This looks like we could have a winner, but um, I don't have those grooves for those clips. 1.18. Is that what I said that was? 1.18. <sighs> anyway, guys. Zero. So that is not the right one either. It's not going to be it. That's not going to be it. This one's going to be too small because it's too, two point five six, two and a half inches basically, which that is not. It's three point something. Man, I don't know. 3.65 and 1.06 nope that is 1.125 You see where I'm at? That's a 91 Chevy rear rear U joint. That's too big. And as far as I know, this is a stock drive shaft, but I don't really know. I couldn't really tell you. Let's go. So more options. Um, 2.8, 2.6. Nope, nope, nope. 6.6, 1.06. Nope. Hmm. You guys see my pickle? My dilemma here. Anyway, I'm gonna have to research it a little more. Um, Try to figure out something for this rear U joint. I just don't know what it could be. If this is a different drive shaft out of something else. Three point six, one point zero. Nope. Yeah, guys, I don't. I don't really know what's going on here. Do not know. I might have to go to eBay or something. Check out eBay. Unless there's something different that I'm not seeing, that I'm not doing. But anyway, I was going to do a lot of work on the... Uh, I was going to finish color matching the uh, 4th Gen Ram. But... Uh, 
It's been too windy. As you can hear the wind in the background. I don't know if you can or not. But it's uh, just been too windy. That's why I haven't really uh, videotaped anything. I haven't really recorded anything on my day off. Or days off, I should say. And, uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much sucked. Oh, I can't find anything. So I'm going to have to figure out something. I don't know what the deal is with this U-joint. Um, this, like I said, it's not AutoZone's fault. It's probably something going on with this truck. And, uh, I just don't know what it is. Because that fits in there. You know, if I if I hit it in there, it'll fit in there between those. It just will not. It won't fit inside the uh, the actual uh, drive shaft itself, unless I can uh, waddle those holes out. So. It won't fit. Even if I pressed it in there, it won't fit. It's just too tight. So, I was trying to prevent from getting a uh, drive shaft made. But, I might have to end up getting the drive shaft made. Because I did cut this drive shaft down. Um, but, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what's the deal. Maybe you guys can help me out. So, um, but yeah, let me come out here in the next video. I'll show you guys what I did to the truck. Which I don't know if I showed it already, but I will show it and uh, go from there. So, alright, guys, boring uh, days off to say the least. Anyway, hopefully, you guys follow. Hopefully, you guys subscribe. Stay in. Do what you guys do. Thanks for watching. Later.